you guys. It's February 7, 2024 in beautiful Big Bear Lake. How you guys doing? Got the wife today. How you guys doing? So it's about 11 in the morning. We're going to go do a drive around the whole town because I want you guys to see uh, what happened overnight. It, it was snowing heavy at times overnight. We did get quite a few more inches of snow. So I'm looking forward to taking you guys on this cruise with me. And don't forget, you guys, if you want some killer merch and to support the channel, go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com. And if you type in the word storm it, at checkout in the discount code area, you will save some money on your purchase. And that's only through... I believe Friday. So please go to the go support our channel and type the word storm so you can save some money while supporting the channel. And last but not least, for those of you who rent your skis and snowboards, please please go to Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard. They they have a great reputation and I've heard good things about them for years. That's why I asked the owner if he would let me kind of represent them for a place to send you guys that, that I know is absolutely solid and he was stoked and uh, so far there's been a ton of you that have gone in there and every single one of you has been extremely happy with your product the prices and especially the customer service um, if you mention my name or mention this channel if you bring your own skis and snowboards in there they will wax them for free you guys and all of you know a nicely waxed board or skis makes all the difference in the world so hit them up best ski rental prices in town and also if you want to save money on your lift ticket if you go to getboards.com and purchase your lift ticket 72 hours in advance of when you plan on going you'll save a bunch of money as opposed to going straight to the ticket window and buying it at the ski resort so 72 hours in advance you'll save quite a few bucks and uh yeah hopefully this will help you guys a whole bunch again i've, I've been getting really great feedback on it and I would never refer you guys to anybody who I don't think is the best of the best up here. And these guys really care about what they're doing. So I just want you guys to know that I am looking out for you always. All right, so that being said, look at how gorgeous this is guys. And our temperature, well, it just said 29 degrees for the past 20 minutes. And as soon as I hit the record button, it jumped up to 31 degrees. The reason I didn't go out earlier, guys, is because I was able to get some sleep, but I kept hitting snooze about maybe 25 times. Um, so it wasn't like a straight sleep, but I got quite a few hours of sleep. I needed it. So let's go check out the town. The reason we're going this way, guys, around the lake and then all the way to Baldwin to show you the Big Bear Snow Rule again is because of the traffic coming into town. We don't want to go around the lake the other direction because we will hit probably a bunch a bunch of traffic from you guys cruising into town and it looks like it's starting to snow again so we're starting to get some snow now maybe throughout this whole day maybe an inch of snow let me see if anything has changed let me see So it says next six hours, one inch, next next 12 hours, seven inches. Holy moly, it did jump up. And then next 24 hours, not, so guys, nine more inches of snow by 11 a.m. tomorrow. Okay. And then 10 more inches in the next 48 hours. So a little bit more than I expected. As I said, I, I got up a little bit late today for the first time in weeks, and I'm really, really excited for my sleep. But... We do have a, a bunch more snow coming, so be ready for it. And let me, uh, hey, just checked my weather forecast and it says within the next 24 hours we could have nine more inches of snow, just a heads up. I didn't know if you're aware. Just called the snow plow company, or texted the snow plow company. He's a buddy of mine. He's just the neatest guy. He also supplies 85% of all this town's firewood. The guy is just, I mean, just insanely cool. He goes deep into the forest in the summer times and uh, um, pays for all of these, these areas to uh, take the firewood. And, and I mean, it's an awful lot of work and a, a pretty uh, sketchy job. 
but he's a great, great dude. If you guys need need firewood, I'm sure he's cool directly hooking you guys up. So I'll talk to him a little bit later and then I'll put his information in the description of every video. So when you guys come up here, I promise you guys, you'll save a bunch of money. Of course, I want our town to be making money, but this is a friend of mine and he's the one who supplies all these stores or most of them. So I'd rather send you guys straight to the source so there's no middleman involved and save you some money. We're about to turn into the village right now. And then after we drive around the whole town, we're going to drop my wife off because her car is stuck. And hopefully it's unstuck at this point. Hopefully they've plowed. Hopefully they have plowed. And then as soon as we're done with this video, I have to get this thing uploaded quickly because it's going to be a long video. It's probably going to take three hours to upload. So, yeah. Or maybe we can go back and you can let me upload the, the uh, video just so... Uh, I don't have work today, so there's... Per perfect. Okay, cool. He says that I can pick up my car anytime. Okay. Um, All right. He was supposed to let me know when the plow came, but he's in a meeting now, so... We don't know if it's even there yet. I'm sure... I'm, I'll bet it is. I'll bet it is. But then again, I would have no no idea. Usually the plow crews and I still go take, early. And I still have to the parking spot anyway, because you know how the plows go by and they throw it all into the... Yeah. Um, so oh, I still yeah. have to do the berm. By hand. Ba, 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 berm. I did a couple berms yesterday, guys, on my own by hand, you know, with the shovel. And man, my abs and my hips are really feeling it today. I woke up and I was like, oh, why am I in pain? Oh, yeah, that's right. Seven minute berms. Shoveling. We're going to start yeah, seven an exercise. Berms. Seven minute berms. <laughs> we really should. <laughs> I saw something funny on um, the neighborhood app or the next door app. This guy was said, my picture on it? Jeez, babe. Oh, no, sorry. That was hilarious, but this was just funny. <laughs> he, this guy You're says. Walking. <laughs> All right, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. This oh. guy put an ad saying, "Free snow shoveling lessons. Come to my house and bring your shovel with you." <laughs> That's I'll great. Show you the forward scoop, the scoop and lift. That's the, great. Oh, it was hilarious. That's, that is fantastic, babe. I, went, I loved it. That is that that is great. That is great. Bring, your, bring shovels with you. <laughs> yeah, that is absolutely great. I love that. That's hilarious. <clears throat> so guys, we are in our beautiful village right now. And it's now back down to 30 degrees. And for our, our little buddy boy fame on the channel, always asking me about icicles. Always. Hi, boy fame. We're finally going to be getting some icicles out of this oh, yeah. one. So. There's going to be lots of icicles. Then here's my uh, favorite higher end place in this whole town, you guys. Again, I don't get anything from these companies that I refer you guys to. You know, the, the uh, ski shop showing, showing, showing me gratitude let me use a pair of skis to go skiing twice. And I'm super, super thankful for that. But there's no money being exchanged, nothing like that. I'm doing this because I'm trying to find the best places for you guys, so you guys come back. We need you guys to come back. During the orientation I took when I worked at Bear Mountain, less than 15% of you guys ever come back. And I thought I, I misheard them speak, but it's the absolute truth. And, and because there's so many different issues. <coughs> and so they try to teach you or teach us the employees up here to treat you guys with with, with with what's called the big bear way which is just you know very common sense stuff you treat the customer and the tourist with as much love and respect as possible but yeah so just so you guys know i don't i don't get any money for these places i refer you guys to i do it because i want to bring you guys the best places that I would go to that would make me feel good. And that have good customer service because well, yeah, sure. some of That's... these places don't have, aren't the best with that. Yeah. And I think that plays a lot into why these people are not having the best experience up here is because... Well, yeah, that's, that was one of the, one of the, uh, the biggest issues. And during our one hour orientation with all of Bear and all of Summit's em employees, um, literally that like 
talking about the Big Bear Way and less than 15% of people ever return after their first time here was because of customer service. So, again, you guys, I'm just looking out for you. I want you to have an amazing time up here. And it's so important that you guys do return. Anyway, I think I've beat the heck out of that one. So yeah, we are on Big Bear Boulevard, you guys, AKA Highway 18. We're getting some snow falling. It's absolutely beautiful. It's gonna be really cool because we're gonna be driving through all this snow falling. And then when we get to the other side of town, it's gonna be the most bluebird color blue skies you've ever seen. I'm telling you right now, it's gonna be so pretty. When we go through Baldwin Lake area. And then since we're getting so much snow, babe, maybe tonight, or tomorrow, we'll do a live driving video. Ooh, that would be fun. Totally, totally. I wanted to do it for this video, but since I woke up really late and I'm in the middle of my work day, can't, can't miss many work calls, so that's why we're not doing the live. But we will do a live, as I said, either tonight or tomorrow when it starts really, really dumping again. And we still have a live going at, um, right now, you guys, so you can go over, hop onto that live, check it out, and uh, yeah, that'd be great. You know what, babe? Maybe we should call call the Best Western and just ask them. Just you know. Yeah, that's what I was gonna go in and ask. Okay, yeah, I guess with you there in person, do you want me to ask for you? Because I'm, you know, um, I have lips. I'm very persuasive. Yeah, we know. Yeah, we know. <laughs> that's how you got me to marry you. <laughs> yep, that's right. <laughs> I don't see the difference in his voice. Do you guys? It just never changed. No, that's how I same. talk all the time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, this is one of the most beautiful views. I, even though you can't see much, I, I, I love this over here. Ooh, that is beautiful. Absolutely love it. And guys, when I first started to come up here when I was about 10, you see that fence right there? The lake went up to there, basically. This whole thing, like, it was like basically all the way up here. There was a big marsh right here. And as soon as we would hit this area coming this direction, the other direction, I would get so excited knowing that that we are really close to Bear Mountain. <sighs> the memories are just un unreal. I love it so much. And I know I talk a lot, guys. Not, not many people complain about it, but if it is bothering you, I suggest you hit the mute button and then <laughs> and then put on some like really cool music in the background while you're watching us go. Because I don't want to annoy people, but you guys make me feel so good inside. I get really excited to talk to you guys, help you guys out. And it feels like you're all here with me as soon as I hit that record button. So that's just a little heads up. But wow, look at all this snow over here, baby. Oh, wow. So we might have to skip Irwin. I was going to say, are we going to... And then drive up to Upper Moon Ridge because you've got to see up there. Babe, it's oh. it's twice as much snow as you're seeing right here. It's Literally. It's so beautiful. I know my, my cousin lives up there. But you, so. but so like you were able to see it just because she lives up there. She sends like, me pictures. Of the okay. Time. It was only <laughs> if you would let a person finish talking, can I talk? Can I talk? <laughs> All right. So this is Boulder Bay Park, guys. You can't really see much because we got these huge snow berms right here. Oh, it's so pretty. Just like another, it doesn't even look like Big Bear when, oh, look at the bear with his head full of snow. My brother, I am doing a drive for the channel right now. Would it be cool if I stopped by your house afterwards? I would really appreciate it. Dang it. And this guy who just texted me, you guys, he is one of the biggest contractors up here. Just the nicest guy. 
I'd refer him to those of you who own Airbnbs or buying new homes up here. Um, this guy is so good at what he does and he's a very honest, honest person. In those industries, it's really important you find the honest people. Gosh, look at all that snow. There's at least a foot and a half over here. I love this. It is a little bit slick, you guys. Back down to 29 degrees though. I like it as it gets colder. It hardens all this up. So hopefully we don't get much warmer throughout most of the town than this 29 degrees. We're just gonna kinda, oh uh, yeah, so much snow over here. Wow. We've entered the snowiest part of Big Bear Valley, you guys. Over here by Boulder, well, we just passed Boulder Bay and now we're going through like Papoose Bay. <laughs> It's so spectacular. I just can't believe it. Literally in, you know, when when you're seeing it through the camera, it's like the camera never does it justice. We all know this. This is breathtaking. Oh my God. Look at the trees, you guys. They're just plastered with snow. This is something else, you guys. It's so beautiful. It is. It's just spectacular. I don't even, I can't even speak. Oh, look at all that snow on the rock right there. That's so cool. It's actually bringing tears to my eyes. It's that, it's that it wonderful, you guys. That's how beautiful it is. I get super emotional like that, too, about this stuff. Just like that movie, The Dazzled, when Brendan Fraser, when his character is that super emotional guy who, yeah. who cries over everything. Like me. Just like you, babe. <laughs> Just well, like I always you. think, especially in moments like this, I always think about my family because I love them so much and I miss them. I just well, wish they were all in the back seat with us right now. A hundred, you know? hundred percent. Thankfully, though, some of her family does watch the channel, so they do. Everybody, all of them. All of them watch the channel, so they'll at least get to see from this perspective what everything looks like, which is fantastic. And of course, I think about Priscilla because it looks like heaven. Oh uh, yeah. It's so pretty. I know, baby. It's twenty-eight degrees right now, and yeah, guys, my beautiful wife mourns and goes through the hardest time but she is she is super strong and and uh, you know we're all gonna get get through this look at the icicles to the left hanging off the rock oh yeah that's awesome rocksicles <laughs> they are rocksicles I wish I would have brought my, my backpack. What's in your backpack? Stuff for, for uh, like a tow rope and stuff. Oh. And uh, that backpack yeah. is covered in snow. No, it's not because I've been using it for the past couple days. Oh, okay. Yeah. I took it out. I of... thought you were talking about that red. No, no, that's, that's the, that's the like, all the first aid stuff for the vehicle. I'm going to put that in my car. I really th think you should. I just hope all all the snow didn't damage anything. No. That's quality stuff you got there. It's really, really quality stuff. That bag was a couple hundred bucks. From Amazon.com. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at, look at, look at the rock straight ahead, babe. Holy moly. I mean, Looks guys, like this is just around. amazing. Reminds me of a little sumo wrestler covered in snow for some reason. Oh, that's so cute, babe. <laughs> Look at that monster plow right there. Here's a huge monster pothole, too. Ooh. That guy back of me is starting to tailgate, so hopefully he didn't go over that major pothole because that would have been really bad for his little car. Yeah, not here's a good a, idea here's another tailgate one. in the snow because if you have to come to a sudden stop in your car. You're done. Yeah. Yep. So I saw a really bad accident with a Subaru and a Tesla hit them from behind. 
I saw it at 7 Eleven. Yeah. 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 That's crazy. And then the guys on the Subaru just walked off. Yeah, well, I mean. Oh, you were behind me, huh? No, no, I, I didn't see it happen. I, I, I drove up on it. I drove up on no, it. I didn't see it happen. There were. Either. Oh, there were police there just, and stuff. Yeah, the police hadn't arrived yet. Okay. So it, when I saw it, it, it just, just happened. happened. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. Well, I'm. So yeah, not everyone a good idea. seemed no like they were okay. Yeah, everybody. Thankfully, was fine. but I'm glad it. I'm glad it, it wasn't you, babe, because. Uh, I mean, I drive extra slow, and I'm always afraid, especially in the snow, to tailgate someone because you know you just slide when you slam on your brakes. There is so much snow over here. So this, we're still in the snowiest part of town, and the further we go this way, it'll it's less and less, but it takes a while for it to be less and less. 28 degrees still, that's good, that's good. I can't believe the ducks are still in the water. You would think that their feet were frozen. All right. Oh my gosh, it's so spectacular over here. still have a couple little flurries coming down. Not a whole bunch at the moment. Oh, but I mean, seriously, these are just, imagine getting up to that house right there. Poor, that's gotta be horrible in this type of weather. When my mom had a house in Lake Arrowhead, that was something that always made me nervous because her place had a really steep driveway that went way up to the top and I, I would always freak out about it. Look at how pretty those houses look over here. Get that view, babe. Wow. Guys, that is picturesque. <laughs> that is literally, there's no one behind us. That is something else. Wow, babe. Thanks for catching that. Absolutely beautiful, babe. Our chickens doing? They're doing great. Are you sure? Yeah. Um, they, I've been giving them a, mix, a three mix of food and they have a high protein diet. I insulated by hand their entire chicken coop. Um, I put their water in their coop at night and then in the morning I check it to see if it's frozen and that's how it, when it's not frozen tells me that it wasn't freezing. And Queen has invited Brownie back into the coop, so they're sleeping together again, keeping each other warm. For a little while there, she didn't want her in there. So they are? Sleeping together, yeah. Unfortunately, since you rolled it down, which is good, the, the darn thing's got water all over it, so it, it, it'll be hard to see out of there. I don't want you to freeze. I'm fine. I don't feel cold right now. Just a couple seconds at a time. Would be awesome. All right, you can roll her back I up. Have right now. I have my my seat warmer, and then I have uh, my long sleeve, my sweater, and this jacket on. So I'm really good. Wait, Never mind. I don't want you to hurt the nails. I know you got nice nails going. Oh, I broke mine. I know you did, babe. And then it broke you. <laughs> it really did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're in the Fawnskin part of town. In a little bit, we'll be going through downtown Fawnskin. I'll point it out, but don't forget to not blink when you go through downtown Fawnskin or you will miss it. <laughs> it's 
a small little town. At least the downtown portion is super small. That parking lot is asking for someone to come shovel it. And they heard me. Here he is. Back up to 29 degrees, 11.33 a.m. I have to say, guys, I think this is even more, more beautiful than yesterday morning's drive. There's a lot more snow. I got the defrosters going on high, you guys, to keep the windshield wipers from freezing as much as they usually do. So it's a little bit loud, kind of like me. No one behind us once we get to the tributary. I, you know what? I forgot. I wanted to drive up to Onyx Summit. I think. Okay, cool. It's gonna be a long video, babe. And it's, it's probably not gonna be uploaded till like four o'clock, five o'clock. Well, guess what, guys? It's my day off, so I don't have much to do. All right, guys. This is our our favorite tributary. There's no one behind us, and it is flowing a little bit. Oh, beautiful. Just spectacular, unbelievable. So you know what, babe? I don't think I'm gonna do the Big Bear Snow Rule today. I think I'll do it after tomorrow's storm. We're gonna cut across up here on Division or maybe even Greenway, or possibly Paradise. We'll do Paradise to go up to Onyx Summit. Or maybe I could turn this into two different videos. I think that, I think that would be best, because I don't want it to be super crazy long. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, babe? I want you guys to actually watch the video. I, I, a two and a half hour long video would be way too much. I already make long videos as it as it is. That's one of my houses right there. Right there? In the back behind this. Oh cool babe. Hopefully someday we'll say that's one of our houses that we rent out to people. That's one of the houses that I that, that hires me and they actually built their cabin with wood that was brought over from Canada. Yes, 
some 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 of the uh, the uh, people who have a little extra money to spend do really cool stuff like that. And oh my gosh, it, it's a two-story cabin. It's oh, you showed me pictures gorgeous. of it. I remember, like Hollywood. like six months ago or something. Right? Oh my gosh, it's beautiful in there, and just the most beautiful view of the lake as well. Just you know what that people are blessed. That's all I can say. Well, you know what. People work hard, right? Yes, they do. Absolutely. And we do too. It would, it would be nice for us to have a home like that someday. But again, as hard as both of us work, you know what? It's it's a possibility. It's a possibility. Everyone out there, anything is possible as long as you're working hard, being honest, and, and truly putting in the effort. Anything's possible. And speaking of, of, of wood... So, being moved from a long, long, long way away. When I lived on the big island of, of Hawaii, one of my roommates, Nate Brown, did all, all the maintenance for Paul Mitchell's house on, 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 on the water. And it was this big, beautiful wooden house with every piece of wood was like hand carved and all, and it was from, so all of it was shipped from Indonesia. And this is like, had to have been maybe 13,000, square feet and most of the house was like an outdoor house so like you like walk outdoors to get to the rooms and stuff it was really unique really really beautiful um i i just just an awesome place but when you said bringing wood from Did you go to yeah it? yep wow. i got to uh to a go there for a new year's party oh that's awesome yeah paul wasn't there but it was paul's son that was there talk about a party animal holy moly like uh but super, super cool. There were a ton of people there. A ton of people. It did get a little bit scary. Why is that? Well, because in in Hawaii, people who look like me are, are not liked. And uh, thankfully, I was good friends with a bunch of the, like, big, big Tongans and Samoans that just really loved me and protected me and stuff. And But, like, I don't, like, I totally understand why why they have issue you just got to earn people's respect but basically on the outside of the property about 20 cars of uh, locals um of, of local hawaiians came to uh to uh try and fight us all it was it was it was crazy it was paul it, mitchell and his son are they hawaiian no no they're howleys just like me but again um it was just a trippy situation, but I, I can understand. I mean, shoot, I didn't freak out about it. And I knew I was going to their, their area. I mean, it's Hawaii, but that's why you just got to be cultured and really, really, really respect other people's cultures. And when they see that they will, they will inevitably love you. Highway 38, folks, aka North Shore. Speaking of Hawaii, <laughs> we're on the North Shore right now. It feels like the car is jumping a little bit. I wonder what that's all about. So I think I am going to turn this into two videos. We will go out to Baldwin. Then once we're done with Baldwin, that'll be the first video. And then we'll start the second one going up to Onyx. Onyx will be its own video. I can't wait to see how much snow is up at Onyx Summit. Very excited. Magnificent. 
this in here. And as I said, guys, once we exit all those clouds where we were getting snow flurries, we're gonna end up getting into some beautiful blue skies. And look at that, that's just beautiful blue skies. That blue is so crisp, right, baby? Like, so beautiful. And even though we see clouds beyond it, as far as the eye can see, we still might have blue skies in Baldwin. So we shall see. snow summit over there oh my gosh you guys i wish every one of you could come up here take a load off and have a great time i promise you if you can find a way up here for a few days to just hang out in this type of beautiful snow it's so rejuvenating you'll you'll go back down the hill go back to work feeling really great hi baby i gotta roll it down all right so we got snow summit right there barely see it because of the clouds but it's right there it looks beautiful oh it's so wonderful i love it some more ducks babe <laughs> or something so guys keep remember how much snow you saw on the other side of town and as you can see it's getting less and less over here wait till you see how little is left on the complete opposite side of town so we're about almost halfway to the other side of town, pretty close. I don't know if, if you want to text that dude to say that you're not gonna be coming real soon. And then we can go to the Best Western while this video is uploading. We'll just... I don't have to text him. So is it in a parking space or something? It's inside the garage. Oh, okay. And they aren't they aren't using the garage. Unless somebody rents it out and he texts me somebody's coming. Okay. But he told me you can get it anytime. Don't worry about it, get it anytime tomorrow. Okay. So unless somebody calls and is like, I need to rent it, then call me and be like, yep. Okay. People are super nice like that. They might also say grab it anytime, hoping you'll grab it in the morning, but well, I text him super early, like at eight. Like, do we have a cloud yet? Oh, dude. Come on, man. Homie, don't play that. He was already <laughs> turned so far, his neck was turning. You see, he's behind him. He's not even looking left anymore. He's looking behind him. I was waiting and waiting to go. <laughs> It's 29 degrees still. If we do have some blue skies over Baldwin, and we actually might not, but it, if we do, it, it might be a little cooler out there. Oh, babe, it's so beautiful. down because if there's any puddles when a car passes it's gonna smash me. Oh look at that. Woo. This view right here as soon as we pass these trees of this water feature right there. Oh it's gorgeous. It's so pretty, you guys. It does feel like it's passing or something. Yeah. Maybe there's like snow stuck in 
in there somewhere. But after I did all those donuts for like 10, 10 plus minutes, it almost seemed like there was smoke coming from my, <laughs> yeah, I know, babe, I know. But it's worth it. It's worth it. I was gunning it though. I mean, I, I wasn't playing around. I was absolutely gunning it. up after we get our temps above freezing then I might be a little worried yeah it looks like over in the Baldwin area we might have some blue skies over there I'm telling you I'm like a baby in a car these drives make me so sleepy well you are a baby in a car <laughs> <laughs> I'm your baby that's right So by the look of what's in front of us, you guys, I don't think the kids were lucky enough to get a snow day today. <laughs> poor little, poor little people. You gotta go to school no matter what. I'm telling you guys, these are some of the strongest kids I've seen. I mean, they will be out at 8 in the morning, walking to the bus stop. It's like 30 degrees, snowing, and <laughs> I just can't believe my eyes sometimes. I'm like, still, you still have to go to school? That's the problem with this world today. I know, I know, I know. People are too coddled. Yes. Never are encouraged to strive for something and work hard and gosh forbid losing. Oh my gosh. Right, baby? I'm so excited about Onyx Summit! I know everyone's probably at this point wondering where's the video. It's not going to be up for a while. I had to sleep in, you guys. I had to. I, I didn't have a choice. But again, now I'm good to go pretty hard for a few more days, which is all we need. I think today is Wednesday, which means that Friday is the last day of this snow. And then a week from Saturday, we have another huge amount of stuff coming back into town. But it looks like it could be a lot of rain this time, which is no bueno. <laughs> so all of you that wanted to go skiing and snowboarding in these amazing conditions, make sure you get here before the next series of storms because it's not looking good for a lot of snow. It is looking good for an absolute diluge of rain though. A lot of rain. All right, here we go. We're gonna head out to Baldwin Lake. And there is some blue skies above Baldwin. On the left-hand side up there, you can see some blue in the sky. That's the right hand side. Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm pointing to the left-hand side. Oh. does look gorgeous up there when we get snow like this up in these hills on this side of the valley you guys then then you know we got some pretty good snow i can't tell you how many videos i, I recorded when there's at least six inches of snow at the dam and there's nothing nothing at the top of these hills over here the side of the road guys there's just no snow berm very little snow over here it's amazing it really is amazing to me how little snow will fall on this side of town our friend ben brissy from ben's weather sent me a couple pictures of his house in baldwin and they actually had a few inches of snow so i'm assuming he's kind of over on this closer end of Baldwin over here. But we're gonna first be hitting 
the least snowy part of town when we enter the Baldwin area. Absolutely no one anywhere near us behind us, which is good. So we can kind of go a little slower and really enjoy these views. So guys, there's there's Baldwin. Baldwin finally has a lake now. And it's gonna be big, it's gonna be beautiful. Look at that, you guys. Look at that as soon as we make this turn, I'll be able to go over the window up just a second. When all this snow right here melts, guys, it's going to become a lake over here. Oh, it's so pretty. And you can see over here, there's just very little snow. There's even dry patches right here. See that? One degree, so it actually warmed up a little bit over here. Kind of makes me want to go see Taylor. You know what? You could easily get down, babe. Easily, you won't have any problems back here. I see that. If you did, you would want to leave today and then come back on Saturday. Just after all, all the snow's gone, because as I said, we're supposed to get another foot overnight. never in the clouds. Sunday is going to be a beautiful day. I don't know day. that I have that many days off. I think I'd only be able to stay till Friday. Let's see. I mean, guys, isn't this remarkable? Compared to just seven and a half miles away, the same elevation. Look at there's hardly any snow over here. A few inches at best. And babe, that would be good too because then you wouldn't worry about being stuck. Stuck. Stucky stuck. You guys were wondering Taylor is my stepdaughter Rachel's daughter does she like this type of weather babe or no no that's why she moved oh okay she was with me in uh, Bear City for
guys. So yeah, hardly any snow over here. We're in the least snowy part of the whole valley over here. The least snowy part. Now we're gonna turn into Baldwin right now. Temperature's back down to 30. Look at how little snow's over here. Isn't this amazing? Compared to the dam. Like, there's like no snow berms over here. Yeah, no snow berms at all. You got beautiful, partly to mostly cloudy skies over here. Thank you, man. Sorry about that. Yeah, this is the t side of town I think I could handle because it's, it's you still Less get all snow. the beautiful snow, but then you're still mobile. Well, I mean, you don't get that much snow over here. You get very, very, you, you'll still get snow. And but if you really want to go to the snow, it's like- It's just right down the street. <laughs> yeah, it's just right down yeah. the street, yep. And I noticed that there's a little farm here and we've got bulls, bulls. Bulls. I don't I, it's so hard to say. Why is it hard to say? Bulls? Bulls. Say it with me, everybody. Bulls. bulls. <laughs> 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 Do they have bulls over here, dude? Yeah, they do. I know they have horses and stuff like that over here. I never I saw really saw bulls. That's really cool. Yeah, but it's a baby bull. Oh, a bubba bull. A bubba bull. What's a baby bull cow? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I was gonna say, what's a baby bull, bull called? Probably a baby bull. <laughs> So it looks like on these roofs, guys, there's about three inches of snow. Maybe, maybe a little bit more, maybe four inches max. And, the, and they still came and plowed their roads. That's really cool. Totally. Totally. So is there out here that they have to... Pull the bulls over here? The bulls, the bears, the bulls and the bears. You guys remember the old good Saturday night, Saturday night Live days when it was good? Da bears. Da bulls. You know which one of those comedies or comedy shows that I really, really miss? There's two of them in living color and the Chappelle Show. Those were both just amazing. And old Saturday Night Live. Saturday Night Live these days is like more like a drama, kind of a horror film. not funny very scary all right here we go folks it is so gorgeous over here babe these blue skies are ridiculous This summer, for some of our summer videos, we are going to be coming over here and uh, doing a little bit of horseback riding. We're, and I'm, I'm going to have to buy a helmet, not to like be a total wuss, but I think it would be safe. But I, I only really want it so I can put my GoPro as high up as possible, so you guys can get the best perspective ever. And right over here is a lot of equestrian stuff over here. I mean, it's so blue over there. It's so blue.
back down to 29 degrees. I'll bet you guys when we get up to Onyx Summit for the next video, I bet it's gonna be 23 degrees, 24 degrees. I'm excited. And in the Onyx Summit video, we're gonna drive through Sugarloaf also. Less than 24 hours, guys. I've gone through more than half half my tank of gas. It's just crazy. It's a lot of gas. We are on Baldwin, or no, we're on Shea Road now, S-H-A-Y. It turns into Baldwin Road where we just came from. here is a good place to go sledding in these conditions for free I'll show you guys you just got to stand at the edge just to make sure your kids don't slide too far into the street but it's right here on Shea Road people were already sledding Wednesday, right, baby? Yeah. Okay. So if I went, I'd go today, Thursday, and Friday. Because I'd be back by Saturday, so I'm gonna go. I think you'd be good though. Because tomorrow's storm in one day visit. Tomorrow's storm into Friday is only supposed to be one one inch maybe. And back here you wouldn't have any impact. So if you left today, you would have Wednesday night, and then Thursday night, and Friday night, so that's three days. And then drive back Saturday morning. Since you're an yeah, early bird, I right? wouldn't do that. Okay. I wouldn't drive back Saturday morning to be at work on Saturday because it's the drive itself. It's, it's tiring as heck. So tiring. That's so a great, tiring. great point, baby. And I've done it a couple times, believe it or not, where I just want to spend like the absolute last minute with my grandkids, where I'll, I don't, I'll have to be at work in two hours, and I'm like, that's okay. I have two hours to get there, you know? And I'll stay, and then I'll drive straight to work from LA, and I'm like, oh, first thing I do is lay on the couch for an hour. <laughs> Can't even move my body. But I get it done. It's extra, extra exhausting. I wish I had, like, five days. Because the way I see it is I would get there tonight, sleep. That's not much of a visit. See them all day tomorrow and then come home Friday. Seems like a pretty normal weekend to me, Ben. People. That's that is true. That is true. It's a lot of driving. I spend a lot of money when I go over there. But one more time. I always cry when I leave. But not going, you're not gonna have any time. Yeah. Well, you're a good grandma, baby. You're a great. Thank you. A, well, you're not a great grandma yet. You're an amazing grandma, but soon you're gonna be, in about probably 20 years, you're gonna be a, a great grandma, which is just amazing. Can you believe that, babe? <laughs> a great grandma. And I'm gonna be a great grandpa at such a young age. Just amazing. All right, guys, so thank you guys for cruising with us. This is the video of 
the valley, the snowiest part, to the least snowiest part. Don't forget to go to BigBearWeatherMore.com, hit the like button, subscribe, help us out. I'd appreciate it. And uh, we will see you guys later. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Love you guys.